Hey everyone, Sean V. Martin here. I'm hanging out on my ranch, which I am about to make public. Um, it's not that it wasn't public before. You could get here by typing slash home Sean and you just boom. Oh, Sean doesn't have a home. Home Sean V. Martin. There we go. I knew it worked. This is the docs. I um, said in a video that I didn't know what exactly to do. Do you remember when I had like an inlet here? Well, someone said something that got to me. <laughs> Shouldn't have let it get to me, but it did. They were like, oh, a farm, a farm sustained by ocean water, only in Minecraft. So you know what? I got rid of it. And it's just now, it's just landmass now. It goes the whole way out to um, this cave that was already here, that there's a cow in. I didn't ask for rain. But like I was saying, if you go to my home, you'll end up there. And then you can walk up from the docks and look out over there. There's Leafy's property over there. And there is a red block floating over my house. Can you guess what is contained in that red block? Bah, it is a sheep spawner. <laughs> so sheep spawn over top of my house or inside my house sometimes, which is fun. And then, oh, no, excuse me. I just close the gate. Sometimes they spawn right inside here. That's fun. And uh, I've got a chicken spawner up there, so they fall into the pen. And then uh, I've got a silo that I built, which is which also acts as the departure and arrival station for the roller coaster, which I'll show you in a second. But like I said, I want to make this place public today. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a portal right here. I've already selected this area. I'm going to make a water in a second. But the way that you make a portal is MVP create. This is using multiverse. That's multiverse portal create. And I'm going to make this ranch two, and it's going to be connected to a portal. So you have to type P colon, because if you just type a word there, it's going to connect it to a world, not a portal. So I'm going to connect it to the portal ranch one, which does not exist yet, but it doesn't matter. Multiverse doesn't care about that yet. So there we go, created and selected. I'm going to set it to water. Boom, and if I get in it, where it will it take me anywhere? No, because ranch, ranch one does not exist yet. So now I'm gonna go to Protaculus, and the way I'm gonna get there is by using MVTP, P, I'm gonna go to my house, Sean's house. There we go, and then I'll just jump up and down in this. Oh, here we go, okay, now I'm at Protaculus. And I've made a doorway over here. This is for me. Uh-oh. It's already water. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> Can I do? Yep, I was afraid of that. All right, as I was saying, I'm going to select this. The reason it was already water is because I already did this once to test it to make sure that I knew how to do it, which you should always do if you're going to do a tutorial. And we're going to, uh, I'm just going to page up a bunch until I see this one. MVP create ranch 2, ranch 1. I'm going to change it to ranch 1, portal to ranch 2. See what I did there? And boom, that should be done. I will now set it as water and I should be able to walk into this and end up at my ranch and I do. So you can now use that. I will put a sign out for everyone. And Leafy gets the cookie for being the first one to use the portal, of course. So here it is guys, right inside Portaculus hangar right and it is right beside the mountain castle, which that must be Lilin's, I'm assuming. Oh, I didn't duplicate that. Oh, I forgot the style, Stevie. He thanked me for using it and then I forgot. So you gotta make squiggles at the top of your sign, like Stevie does. SVM's ranch. Squiggle sign. Thank you, Leafy. It is a nice ass. So now that y'all can come to my ranch, I would highly advise you to do so. There are plenty of animals to kill and they will continue to spawn forever. Eventually, if 1.9 comes out and we apply it to this world, I will remove the spawners and you can just use the uh, in-game breeding. Aren't we excited about that? Um, but also, you can come here to, if you don't want to slaughter animals, you can come into the silo. Isn't it beautiful in here? Head up the ladders placed in the back. And up on the first floor, which there is a second floor made of glass. There's nothing up there. It's just something cool to look at. Up on the first floor here, we have a starting track for a roller coaster. So let's go ahead you put your cart right there. No, there are no carts provided. Bring your own. And you press the button, and we're off. Let's enjoy this. Ooh. So this track is taking the route. Oh, watch out for the drop. Oh, no! Oh, it's OK. Oh, it was a secret. As it's taking this route, pay attention, because if you are interested in building over here, oh, creepers, watch out. I would like you to build in the area that I've outlined in the track. 
I've intentionally outlined a figure eight area that it would be really nice like right here along the water if people would build some stuff. And then we're gonna take my little, there's a sheep out there floating around in the water in the moonlight. Oh, there's a whole bunch. It's the animals getting away from the ranch because there's nothing to hold them in. Uh, we've got this little spiral that, man, that was a pain to build. And then, uh, okay, so this area up here is all up for grabs. Um, the only area that you can't, oh, Leafy, watch out, watch out. Oh, Frank, what's Frank doing on the track? Oh, he's not on the track. Leafy's, did Leafy just fly away? That was amazing. Frank just wanted to be part of the tour. Uh, I've put some trees up here that you're welcome to tear down if you want. Uh, I might just place some more. I put some all the way up there on that cliff. Uh, you get to go through the nice water and lava flows. Did I just come to a stop? What just happened? Ah! Let's, uh, let's keep going on this tour. Come on. And there we go. Okay. Well, that was weird. Um, this is all up for grabs back here, this whole mountainous area. Someone has lit part of this up. It was not me. There are torches just placed here. Uh, there's a swamp over there. I don't think anyone's laid claim to that. That is... That is not Leafy's. This is Leafy's. I don't know whose that is. Who's working over there? Feel free to name yourself. And also, I don't know who's been doing this. Maybe it was Leafy. Uh, someone... I punched the track right through the mountain here. Oh, there he goes. And someone has been working on, on that. And that's pretty much the whole track. Then you just come come around to the top and you land right back where you start, which is a pretty nice effect. Watch. Boom. And you just sit on top of that block. Pretty cool. And I've got uh, Band of Builders on my butt. Thank you very much, QJax, for that. So that's the ranch and mine track for you guys. Um, the last thing I guess I want to do is I want to go back to my house. I'm going to use my my awesome portaline methods again. Boom. And I guess I need to add, like, I, look at this. Look at this ridiculousness. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. So I'm going to put something out here, I think, past whatever, <laughs> whatever this is, whoever's farm this is. I'm going to put something out here that will just be rows of blocks, just wood blocks, that you can put signs on in order, in a row, not standing at every angle that you want, and in a way that will be easy to read. If you found this sign, you win, GeoRare. I win, QJax. Well, I won too, right? So I'm gonna read these signs, and then this is gonna be the last time I use this as my as my mailbox. They're gonna move over there, over, over, over there. I don't know which, I'm very confused about which way I'm pointing on the screen right now. They're gonna be over there. I'm pointing ahead now. So let's see these. I saw a house under your house, dig it. Ham2391, Sean's message wall, Ham. Thank you, Ham, I appreciate your attempt. I'm gonna I'm gonna replicate this on a smaller, longer scale over there. Um, go to new digs and find the small tree. Hi Sean, I made this wall for you. It's kind of getting crowded on the ground, so I built this up. You feel free to destroy it if you don't like it. And oh, by the way, I'm lost and can't find my way home. Says Ham. Oh, I'm sorry, Ham. Ham is a girl, by the way. I made a this week sign in creative. Says Prof Snape. Serial Sam says I got the last sign. Yeah, I probably should make that a supply sign instead of a chest full of signs. Hey Sean, I made a trader's market and was and was I could get a teleporter to it, just go to my home fragrant agent. I'm gonna make a teleport. I'm gonna make rules about teleports after I talk to Stevie. Um, can I move in some of the island here? You can move wherever you want. Hey Sean, I love your videos and I can't wait to see you. TTPX. Thank you, TTPX. Dig here, Sean, says Ham. Right here? Or under the sign? <gasps> what is it? Is it a house under my house? <gasps> it is a house under my house. A chest with a hoe in it. Hey Frank, it's nice of you to join the sign reading party. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to homes this time. Maybe next time. I think I'll leave a special section of the wall for people's homes who I haven't visited yet that you can just add it there. Uh, Sean, can I has hug? Sure, diet cam. I'll give you a hug. Hey Sean, um, did I say hey? Yes, you said hey. Hey Sean, hope you're doing well. Shizzy. What a nice note, Shizzy. I am doing well, thank you. How are you doing, Frank? Kaiser says, Sean, this is desperate. What's the IP? I don't know. 127001, I think. Sean, how can I get my wife on the whitelist? Says Big Mick 392. Well, Big Mick, if you're on the server and you know someone that you want to get on the server with you, the whitelist is open. 
make sure they submit an application, make sure that you tell us what their name is, um, especially if it's someone like your spouse, we're gonna let them on. So please, please let us know who that is and we'll be happy to let them play with you. Make sure you don't have anything on you. Dig down here from QJAX. Um, Frank, you wanna check something out for me? There's something down there, you wanna, you wanna check it out? I'll just uh, help you out a little bit, just give you a little, just give you a little help. Um, why don't you check it out? Frank, Frank, I would really appreciate if you could check this out for me. Why don't you, there you go. So what is it? What's down there? Frank? Oh, sh Karka was here, 2K11. Do people say that? 2K11? Sean, sorry for killing Frank, says the Minecraft C, and when you please go see what I did in you. In you? What did you do in me? What, in my house? Or something? I'm lost, says Icona Kona. Farewell, I hope to see you guys again, says DJ. Going to walk around, not recording as Let's Play, says Prof Snape. Oh, you're not gonna record a real life Let's Play? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Oops, I just broke a block and found cobble. It's the house under my house. Okay, so I'm adding a thing out here. I don't know what it is, a, a dock of some kind. And I'm going to add walls like this. Shift up one, set five. Okay, I'm gonna make walls the whole way around that look like this. And then I'll probably also do a couple down the middle. Basically, I want you, when you leave your signs, <laughs> look at this, when you leave your sign, Leave it like that, you know, on the wall. Don't leave them on the ground every angle. It makes it very hard to read on camera, and since this is mostly read on camera, I want to be able to walk along them and read them in a certain order. So uh, operate in a clockwise manner, fill it up from the entrance around, and then work inside if you need to. And that way, it'll be I'll be able to read them in the order that they came in, first of all, and I'll be able to read them all in an order that makes sense. So please do that in the future. This is my new mail room or something. That is glowstone, by the way, in case you've been wondering what the frick that texture is. I've actually changed it several times in my videos, and I don't think anyone's actually pointed it out. But for instance, like, look at this. That's that's what the Portaculus looks like. If you look at some of my other videos, there's other stuff going on in the glowstone that no one noticed. Um, I'm kind of curious who did this. How is that happening? So there we go. That is the new mail room. It is connected to to the island, but it's just floating over the water in its own space. And uh, I look forward to the messages that you leave me. But uh, I'm going to get headed out. I've got a lot of stuff to edit, and I will look for you next time. Thanks for watching. He won't stop jumping. <laughs>